All right, Shalom. We start first by giving all praises and glories to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, call Halal, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and feed the flock. And greetings to you, brothers, who do this work in sincerity and in truth, and also to those that help forward the truth. Shalom. Um, reading over in the Maccabees, and um, is something came upon my spirit. Basically, that um, not everybody will be uh, will not see death. Not all of the elect, should I better say, uh, not all of the elect will not see death. Some will become martyrs. And um, it's an honorable thing to become a martyr, you know, um, for Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Not for Black Lives Matter, not for the hood or whatever niggas may be into, but for the, for the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you know, for their sakes. Um, and so I was reading on and um, just just the mentality of, of this life, you know, um, just thinking about, you um, you know, brothers get upset, get fed up, dealing with this society and this life, you know, and sometimes if you're a righteous man, the Most High may, may, may remove you from this, you know, because uh, perhaps you paid your dues or, or because he don't need you to be a servant no more or because you fucked up, I, you know, it depends on, 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 on the level that he's judging on. My, my thoughts are not his thoughts. I, man upon earth cannot understand his thinking. Um, entirely so um basically when i read this it just it just put in perspective for me that um if yahweh forbid i i am a martyr you know and i want to see this thing all the way through you know i don't nobody wants to fall out or come up short but but um lord willing i am of the elect and i make it any way that i that the most high will see fit for me um if that be a martyr, you know, we have to also prepare our minds to, to be that also. And that's for every man in Israel that, that you know, that is fighting for a seat on a chariot, you know, that is of the hopeful elect, you know, because that may be the way you get in. And so when I was reading the Maccabees, it, it was a, a beautiful mentality that these brothers had, you know, and even their mother, you know, that, that they had, um, on, on the subject matter, which I'll, I'll just read here in 2 Maccabees chapter 7, of course. Um, I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, so when he was ready to die, he said thus. You know, and we have to, like like the scriptures say in uh, Matthew, and I think it's in the Gospels and other places, basically, um, if you hate not yourself and your own, you know, your, your wives and family and mother and father, or father and mother, and children and lands and sisters and brothers and in your own life also, you cannot be my disciple, you know, and so on and so forth, you know. Um, so if you don't hate your own life and you're not to the point of wanting to give up the ghost with all the vexation of spirit that goes around in this society, you know, maybe you're not in the right um, mentality. You're not looking at this thing in the right perspective, you know, because, I mean, not that we actually physically want to go, but mentally... And spiritually, we, we don't want to deal with this, this, this disgusting society, you know, any longer. White man ruling over you, transgenders everywhere you turn and look, faggots and lesbians and gays and, and whatever else. You know, wickedness is just polluting the whole earth. So who wants to be around that? You know, when we're trying to do the very best we can to have a righteous spirit about us, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, how, how is it that anybody would want to stay in this society? You know, so if you got, but but not saying begging the most how to take us out of it, but just in the sense of of um, of preparing yourself mentally to not be a part of this world, to be removed from it. You know, that if it were to happen, have you lived yourself in spirit to the fullest of your ability to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahshua to earn that that seat of election? You know, so anyway, the Maccabees brother uh, here in particular, when he was speaking, I believe it's the fifth son that was about to be put to death. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I believe the fourth, the fifth one that was to be put to death. And, you know, he, he came with a beautiful uh, mentality on him. It says, 
Uh, this is 2 Maccabees 14 and 7. It says, So when he was ready to die, he said thus, It is good being put to death by men to look for hope from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, to be raised up again by him. As for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. You know, it's okay for me to have a beautiful death in, 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 in this truth, you know? Not that that's the way, brother, but some, you know, not that the way that the that brothers are going to want to go out, but, but you know, the, the will of, of Yahweh Hashim Yahashah has it set up that some men will be martyrs. Be thou a faithful martyr, you know, unto death. Uh, read now, it says, afterwards they brought the fifth also and mangled him. Then looked he unto the king and said, Thou hast power over men, thou art corruptible, thou does what thou wilt. Does that sound like today's society? Thou does what thou wilt, straight out the satanic Bible. You know, the king does what thou wilt with the demonic mentality, right? Thou does what thou wilt, yet think not that our nation is forsaken of the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. In the name of Yahweh Shai, you know. Think not that he forgot about it. Think that, think not that just because you're able to kill some of us, don't think that he isn't going to redeem us or, or come back and fight for us. You know? Read on, it says, uh, But abide a while, and behold, his great power, how he will torment thee and thy seed. You know? That's specifically for um, so-called white man, Edom in the Bible. And, um, and for the other na other heathen nations who are not Israelites, who are today, who are not called by their father line today, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, through their father line. You know, if you have that father line, no matter what you're called, then you are a Hebrew Israelite. If you don't have it, then you, <laughs> if you don't know you have it, but you, but the, but you fit these prophecies and you fit the spirit of this, then that's that's something else. You need to look deeper to find out. Um, if this spirit of your house by Shemel dwelleth within you. But if not, then you're probably a heathen, and um, the Most High is going to torment you and your seed after you, you know. Um, verse 18, after him also they brought the sixth, who being ready to die, said, Be not deceived without cause, for we suffer these things for ourselves, having sinned against our power having sinned against your how you know so we 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 will some of us will suffer these things because we have sinned against your how about you know you know and that, and that that tasting of death will try our <clears throat> will try our um our faith you know will prove our our faithfulness to to your how about you know it's like it's like um having a woman and she's good looking good body and all that and then you know and she just always stay in the house and never get out. You know, she ain't been tested to see how faithful she is to you. But the moment she get out the house, now let's see what happens. There's men and she's walking down to the corner store. And, you know, now let's see what happens. You know, let's see if she, she's giving out her phone number like it ain't nothing. If she's, you know, giving eye contact to all kinds of men. Let's see Let's see now what happens. You know, and that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahushai uh, wants to know. He wants to prove, because he does know some of us are going to be faithful to the end, but he wants to prove it. He wants us to prove it through faith, you know, because he don't give us the visuals to see everything, you know, with the, neck, with the naked eye, so to speak, but with the spiritual eye, you know, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear. Read on, it says, um, uh, yeah. For we, for we suffer these things for ourselves, having sinned against Yahweh. I said, therefore, marvelous things are done unto us. You know, these, these, these FEMA camps, these uh, saw camps, as we call them sometimes, um, these uh, hostels, you know, like the movie Hostel and the movie Saw I'm referring to, you know, where, they, where Esau is going to come and, and even in the purge, where they're just going to torture us to get us to go off uh, from your how about you on shine and it's all according to the spirit and that's why I said being ready to die you know and fearing not because we know what comes after this life 
you know, when this flesh is, is put to, to rest or put to death, we know what, what happens. We know where we, we go to see the Heavenly Father and we come back in, a, in you know, in another body. You know, when we come back, we want that, that extraterrestrial body. You know, so so be comforted in the fact that that we have positive coming after this. You know, don't don't get caught up thinking that YOLO will only one life to live and so on and so forth. But that's all bullshit, you know, set up by the so-called white man to scare you and to live in um, recklessly, so to speak, you know. Uh, anyway, reading it says, um, but think not thou that takest in hand to strive against the Most High, that thou shalt escape unpunished, you know. Don't think that you're going to escape unpunished. Those that, that put the, the, men, the, um, the men to death, you know, the servants of the Heavenly Father to death. Don't think you're going to go unpunished. I got a couple other scriptures um, to go with this. Um, let's go with Revelation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to Revelation chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. Like the Maccabees were, they were faithful unto death. You know, they were, they were tried with their faith. Just eat this pork and I won't put you to death. Just try this abominable meat and I won't put you to death. You know, some of them being tortured and still alive still wouldn't do it. They they stayed like, man, the hell with you. Take me out, kill me, you know. And that's the mentality we have to have just to stay true to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you know. Reading on, it says, um, And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Now the second death, the first death was the Noah flood. The second death is this, uh, the ICBM missiles when the day of the Lord comes and Yahweh Hashem Yahshua comes. That's the second death. And trust me, that's the one that you want to escape because water was, you know, crazy. But, but but this fire is gonna be on a whole new level. This fire will you will remember this fire forever. You know that's 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 how you gotta look at it. Like you won't feel it forever. You know, but you remember it. You remember. You'll have the shame of having to go through that. Um, jumping down to uh, um, thirteen verse thirteen says, "I know thy works and where thou dwellest." even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, the name is key. You gotta call and pray upon that name. The name of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, you gotta call and pray upon that name. You know, you gotta believe, have faith in it, and do his works so he hears you, you know? That's what gets you closer to the Most High God, and you do his works to the best of your ability and call upon his name, but it's all in faith. You know, it's not like I can honor my, like the scriptures even say, you know, I, I, I cannot boast in, in the law. I can't boast that I, that I perform the law. You know, that's nothing to boast in because we can't keep it perfect. You break one, you break them all. I-U-I-C. Uh, anyway, it says, um, it says, even where Satan's seat is and thou holdest fast my name and has not denied my faith, right? Even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr. So you got to be like Antipas being a faithful martyr. Who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Some of us are going to go through that, you know. You know some of us is going to go through that, you know. I pray for the brothers that go through it. And I pray for the brothers that don't have to go through it, you know. We, 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 we keep a perspective that whether that be and we also pray for ourselves to, to be able to deal with that to be able to deal with whatever goes on 
to the Spirit of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai. To the Most High Yahweh by Shemesh Shai as well. Uh, verse 4 says, well, this is uh, Revelation 20 and 4. It says, um, because, hey, America, <laughs> then, you know, then, then, then loaded up all these uh, hollow, hollow point bullets. They got millions of hollow point rounds. They got these uh, uh, MRAPs, which are uh, urban vehicle tanks. Basically, I forgot what the word MRAP means. Um, the acronym M MRAP means. You can look it up, Google it, MRAP. It'll give you all the info. Um, and they even picked up guillotines. Because, I mean, guillotine is an efficient way to, to slaughter a lot of people. You know, so they're, they're going back to the guillotine. You know, so so some of us are going to even have our heads put into that guillotine. Whether, whether it chops us off or not. It's to be seen, you know? But some of us, that will happen unto. Be, be mentally and spiritually prepared for that, you know? And say to hell with this flesh. You know, stay faithful unto you. How about you, Yahweh? Um, Revelation 24, and I saw thrones, and, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. You know, um, some of us will be beheaded for the for the witness of Yahweh by Shemuel You know, for 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 proof for for going out and, and, and witnessing that He is, you know, in the name of His Son. You know, and, and, and Yahweh Shai is the proof that that Yahweh is. You know. Anyway, it says, um, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of, of Yahweh and, and which had not worshipped the beast. Right? Matter of fact, let me get another script right quick. Uh, that brings me to this. Uh, 1 Kings 19 and 18 says, Yet have I left me 7,000 in Israel. 7,000 meaning, 7 meaning a complete number of Israelites. In Israel, of, of Israelites, right? It says, uh, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal or unto the beast. Modern day Baal is the beast. America, this image, the chip, the church, you know, the ways of this society, the EU, all of those things add up to the beast. You know? It says, um, uh, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal in every mouth which have not kissed him you know and i i don't have my blue letter available to go into that word kiss but basically gave a, an affectionate speech towards baal you know or towards the beast even you know like i love to be an american that's a i, I would consider that a kiss toward you know the beast or, or this white man's society taking the chip is a kiss toward the beast and bowing the knee you know reading on it says um Read up, it says, uh, and I saw the souls of them, which is back in Revelation 20 and 4, it says, and I saw the souls of them which were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah and for the, wor the word of, of Yahweh and had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah a thousand years. You know? <clears throat> and that's the thing right there, man. And that's the thing right there, you know. So we have to understand that we will one day be faithful martyrs, but it's okay. Because the scriptures also say the dead shall rise first. You know, those that were faithful that the Most High had that, that passed. So the men that passed through old age and got put to death or, or whatever way, they'll be the first to rise. You know, they'll be the first to come back. And, and, and get it in, so to speak, with uh, with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. You know. So I was just a quick lesson, just to exhort brothers, to, you know, give some positive, to give brothers kind of, you know, built up, to give you a, 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 a somber, so to speak, a solid mentality, but also to give you um, encouragement, if that be your lot, you know, and just to prepare for all brothers to prepare their minds that that could be any of us. You know, that could be any of us. So prepare yourselves mentally and spiritually for that. Prayer, fasting, 
you know, reading. Those things will, will help prepare you for putting these shows and videos out. Those things will will um will, will help prepare you for that day. So Lord willing, your brothers was edified, you know, you know give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Give a to the apostles and elders at Great Milton who, who rule well and, and teach us his word and feed the flock. And uh, blessings and salutations to you brothers that do this work in sincerity and truth and those also who help and uh, forward the truth. That shall